Hello there, it's Jenny here from Just Jenny Journaling. Welcome back to my channel. Just a quick share today. Um, I thought before I shared the um, the January pages of my 20, January 24 day book, I'd do a little quick review of some of the um, feature pages that I enjoyed um, creating and working through um, from January 23. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, it's just a little walk down memory lane. Starting from January 23, right through uh, the year um, to January 24. And after you've had a look, a quick look at that, I thought we'd have a, look, a little look at the um, day book pages for 20, uh, January 24. Enjoy. ready now to have a little peek at um, the first pages for January 24. Enjoy! I'm starting out with uh, this image um, I've highlighted, uh, pulled from the calendar. It's the vintage travel skiing calendar. Um, so I have pictures all the way through. Uh, this was gorgeous. I loved the, what I really drew me to this was the colours. I loved the contrast of the colours of the orange and the blue and this really glamorous young young lady. I love the fashion detail as well. You know, this is from many moons ago, but I love the fashion detail of her scarf being belted with her chunky jumper. I think it looks really lovely. So I popped that on the front and kept it quite simple. 2024. And then on the inside, this is the back of my Daphne's Diary um, monthly overview, um, which I've popped in the, the front of each uh, signature for every each month. And what did I do with that? That's just got um, a Daphne's Diary uh, little page on it, you know, one of their to-do pages, etc., etc. This is cut out from Daphne's Diary magazine. And... Um, this here was just um, for my stash of, it was an old tablecloth, I think. I've gotten a lot of use out of this. And I just thought it looked like a snowflake. And so I um, I cut that out and popped it in. I thought it would look really nice. Um, this is from, I think, just from 49 Dragonflies, Barbara. It's from her winter printables. And I'm still using the grungy labels. Uh, this beautiful image is from, now, from Etsy. And this is from, I think, a lady called, uh, a shop called D Lisa Digital Art. And I downloaded it, the 23 watercolour winter wonderland backgrounds. I think that's that one of those. I'm also using Seamless Winter Digital Paper from Cosmic Meta and Cozy Winter Junk Journal Pages by Very Pair, uh, which are a different Cozy Winter from the ones that I used last month. Um, so yeah, I love the colours. I really like the fact that you've got this beautiful warmth as well as the cool for winter scene. Uh, this was from Daphne's Diary and it was from last year, I think, a poem um, about um, the new year. 52 years, wait again for you. How will you use them? What will you do? It's, it's lovely. So I pulled that. This is the image that went with it. Um, and just the um, Grundy label. I started to print uh, Word of the Day because uh, my daughter and I, we, we have a Word of the Day app and every day um, she does a little bit of, uh, she looks at it, journals about it, etc, etc. And so uh, I do too. Pop that in. Uh, uh, Mrs. Cog's little uh, journal uh, prompt there. Um, also from um, jo Joey, I think Joey Jaffee. She has, um, I had some stamps listening to reading, um, that's like a journal prompt, and it's really good to actually be able to look back and track because I don't do a particularly dedicated reading journal, which I might, I might start doing that. But that is from Cozy Winter Junk Journal Pages from Very Peer from Etsy, and I love it. I love it. I love this 
old-fashioned detail I think it's so gorgeous it just really draws me in makes you feel cozy and warm so I've just added sort of kept it quite simple this was I think a Pinterest find I think it was a Pinterest find and I've kept it quite simple this was um, an old uh, date card calendar card from one of my vintage ephemera boxes from Rosie um, oh dear can't remember can't remember her oh I've featured her boxes so many times and I've gone blank um anyway so and this is from a book is this from a book a book page uh that I had all about winter landscapes I think and um I just layered it up I thought that really I like the colors on that a little bit of paper for my um it was a cheap and cheerful little paper pad from the works. Do you remember the little winter, uh, winter one? And I love this from uh, the calendar. I think it's really jolly. I love the colours. So I just pop skiing on there because it is. This is from Katie Daisy, my Katie Daisy book. Uh, I really love the colours on this. And this is just a... Oh, I just love the colours, to be fair. And I just found this piece of ephemera from somewhere. I can't remember where I got it. It was in one of my little boxes. I just love the colours on it. This beauty is quite urban, like an urban winter scene. And this is from, I think it's one of these seamless winter digital art, digital paper by Cosmic Meta. I think it's really lovely. I really love it. And uh, now I've just teamed it on the other page here with um, some very old winter washi that I have in my stash. This is again from the Cozy Winter Junk Journal pages. It's very similar actually, isn't it? To the uh, Cozy Winter that I did last uh, last month. Very similar colours, very similar colours. Beautiful design, I love it, I love it. And it is snuggle weather. I do love being indoors and reading with little one in the day and we have a, a under a throw. It's just so nice, just so nice. And this again, so this is the back of, um, some Daphne's diary paper like you know you often get um some decorative paper sometimes it's for a project sometimes it's just because and uh I just love the, the the color combination and how that reflected in this beautiful image absolutely love it absolutely love it so uh, number 14 this is a Daphne's diary and this is all about um this is a little write-up just about uh, feeding the birds in the winter and um, so I just pop that in. This is from the Daphne's Diary for, for this year, is it? Yeah, for January. Uh, Daphne's Diary, Diary. These, um, you have one of these every month. I just love, I love that. These little drawings, pen, pencil drawings. And the, the faux stitching there, I think that's really nice. It adds texture without bulk. This um, I've kind of recycled from an old, another winter journal and this is from the paper pad that I used probably three years ago now two or three years ago from Chow Bella and it's uh, snow in the city and it's gorgeous I love it so um, I really liked this from um, the quotes from um, Barbara's um, collection and I popped this little lovely on here uh, cut it out from the tablecloth because I just love the way as I say it looks like a snowflake created a pocket it's part of a pocket so i've got a daphne's diary postcard in here a little piece of ephemera and some daphne's diary diary january pages should i wish to add any really extra journaling in um that i want to tip in towards the end of the month i can use those so this here this lovely this is one of the watercolour wonderland backgrounds and I wrapped it over the page um, and t teamed it with some um, of my old winter washing and just pop a word of the day on there really and I've yet to write I have a, a daily scripture um, which I usually put in after I filmed because I like to do the initial flip through uh, before the pen so my daily scripture is going to go in here as well uh again now this one's from the seamless water winter digital paper this one and i love, love the colors i think it's rather jolly 
and again if you can see i've just popped uh, teamed it with a little bit of washi i have to remember that i'm this is my day book and i'm going to use these pages on the day and so um that's why it's quite simple it's quite simple and these are really nice just ideas just to use if you want to alter a page uh, um, a journal rather than make your own um these are just really easily doable easily doable so we also have uh, this is the center page now that's from the um the calendar and that was one of the little thumbnails from the back of the calendar um which i thought was lovely and i think it's the one that i put on the on my january page but i think that's lovely and this was just backed i just backed it with that was from the paper from um mm, scrapbook paper from the works from that little paper pad so i just sort of cut that out well i didn't cut it out or tear it inked it popped it in this i really liked the idea um so from last year's daphne's diary magazine they had just a different uh, little printable ideas that you could try in the new year you know people do resolutions and things and um, I thought I cut some of them. I've cut quite a few of them out. I haven't used them all. Some of them are just tucked in the back here. I might use them. I might not. But I look like this idea. And this I'd pulled out ages ago. This little image from my vintage. I think it's this one. I think it's this one. That I have several copies of. And I absolutely adore it. I absolutely adore it. I think it's... Do you know what? I might actually... It's such a lovely cover to do something with to add in maybe for for a glue book, add pages in for a glue book or something. I think that's another project that I haven't had really time to do. But So yes, that's from, is that from a, the same page? Similar page anyway, and I basically um, kind of fussy cut around the saucepans. And this little image is from the Cozy Winter Junk Journal paper by Very Peer. Yeah, very peer, very pear um, on Etsy. I like that because I do love my baking and soup making and everything else. This was a postcard that I found in my stash. I love it. Absolutely love it. And um, just paired it up with um, some... Now, this was some Tim Holtz. I can't remember. Packaging from something I bought and I can't remember what. And I basically just took out the... Um, I found a little stamp. Not a stamp. Punch out. Punch. Paper punch. Yes. That I've had in my stash for a while. What I did want yeah, was a little snowflake. And so I punched that. Um, I, I do. I've got a, a big set of winter uh, stamps. Rubber stamps. I can't find them. Because I really wanted to use those in here. But never mind. Never mind. Um, this is the back of the um, that page from the that pocket from um, ah, Chow Bella's um, Snow in the City, and I've just kept it really simple, and I just left that in there and uh, popped the fabric on the on the end there. This was a Facebook find, not a Facebook, a Pinterest find, I think. This is from Daphne's diary, the diary. And what have I got here? Uh, yes, this one here. This is one of the watercolours, which is such a lovely, lovely, lovely combination of colours, isn't it? Is that a beautiful combination of colours for a winter scene? And um, so I paired it, as you can see, with the... Uh, yeah, all the way through, as you can see, I've used the... Um, metallic sticker number stickers i love them and i've tried to um uh pair them with you know match the colors yeah i'm finding the colors tie the colors together with the with the image and this uh, is a really nice way of just putting out that red this is just from the, some stash that i found i think i uh, might have been some tim holt stuff that a friend gave me uh, as a share and this again is some of the seamless winter digital paper by Comic Meta, Mella Meta, yes, Cosmic Meta. And so that's, um, again, I love the combination of colours there with the orange and the blue, the cool. Even in winter it shall be green in my heart. So, 
and then I've carried on. I've got some extra pages at the back here for uh, any extra notes I want, uh, song lyrics that I usually have a song per month that I pop in, and anything else that I would like to uh, pop in as well. So this is again beautiful, beautiful cosy winter junk journal pages, layered up just with um, the grungy. Oh, yeah, this was from a really old. Um, I can't remember the name of it now. I bought this probably. I downloaded this from Etsy three years ago. I've used quite a few of these. They're beautiful, and I just thought I'd uh, do another one. And um, I've just done the cutouts, the punch outs with the snowflake. I love it. I love it. Snowy days, I think it's called. Can't remember. But there you go. Very simple, this one, just a bit of layering. That's the top of the one of the pages that I've got left from the scrapbook pad, Snow in the City. This was in a nature book uh, that I have in my stash. And I uh, pulled it out. I think it's gorgeous. Rose hips in frost. I think it's absolutely lovely. It's just so delicate. And this was from the cosy pages from last, the cosy winter from last month that I used. Um, and that's the other side of the calendar page, calendar cover. And I've just popped a little bit of the Daphne's diary. These are from Daphne's diary. Um, uh, these, were, these were stickers, actually. These are from their little sticker pad. And this for February is the, um, yeah. I thought just because, you know, you see more nature starting to emerge in February with the, the flowers and uh, more in the word, towards the end of February, bird activity and stuff. So I, that's my, uh, for the February page. So that's those. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. And um, yeah, if you liked that, let, just a little show of ideas. Uh, do like and subscribe. And um, yeah, to see if you can incorporate some of these really simple ideas for people who are a bit time poor like myself um, in any journal, either one that you made. This one's made from a cereal box uh, cover and um, the pages are from a scrapbook, a bought scrapbook, which I bought for 2.99. Uh, yeah, which is brilliant. Um, or you can even just alter the journal that you buy and just add your, you know, add your little, own little bits to it. So take care, guys. Uh, stay safe. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.